What's happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's continue along with more of the burning shorts. Uh, so I didn't realize it in the last episode, but when I completed that quest, it gave me enough experience to level up, and that's why I had the uh, enough skill points to basically get both of those abilities. I got three from the level up and then two from the side quest, so I'm gonna doubled up there. But either way, let us get back underway. Make our way on over there. I went ahead and reviewed my uh, my melee combos as well. Make sure that I know what's going on with those. It. It's basically all just like variations of old R1. Man, that got really loud for a second. Hey, okay, that's the stuff I need for. Uh... Oh, strong smell. The, uh, might be interested though yeah yeah they are I know they are um bum, 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 bum. where's the weapon merchant at I wanna get rid of one of my weapons I'm not using if I can I need to see what the hell where's it at is it like under me I oh, know there grab it grab it ah hoping to grab that ledge as I was floating. Yeah, I don't really like the uh, the disc the disc thrower. I don't think that's that good. And I don't know how much brimstone I need to pick up one of these weapons, but if it's like two, that's great. Otherwise, we'll we'll come back later. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I will need. Eight. Oh, not even remote. Not even remotely close. Oh, I'm dumb. Maybe I can get a new weapon. No, no, you're you a quarter of the way there. All right, let's make our way over. Hey there, buddy. Oh, no, I'll, I'll put it back on tear advanced. Let me put on the advanced shredders and I'm gonna play with this and, and give it more of a chance to be good. Okay, maybe it's time to meet up with Seika and head to the tower. Aloy, over here. What up? Hey, I'm here. So, uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay, let's go. The, the DLC clocks in uh, early reports. So you know a lot about my people, I'll let them talk. But I barely know anything about you. Like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise. Uh, he's a uh, fugitive. Come on. <laughs> That's all you've got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. So anyway, um, early reports are that this clocks in at roughly 8 to 10 hours for just the main story, so I think I Why? might... The other day I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Might focus Four on that a lot. crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go. Those are the angry boys. I remember them. Slaughter Spine. The Slaughter Spine and a Thunder Jaw? Whew, right next to each other. But yeah, I mean, if this is eight to ten hours, even if I'm doing two episodes a day, uh, those will add up. So I'm thinking this the series will likely end up being three per day. Either that or much longer episodes, if we're going to get through this and then start Jedi the when I get back Last from London. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. It's been, it's, gaming's about to be so packed though, because we're gonna have this this for episodic based on the vote on the channel, and then we're gonna have. Uh, I haven't seen that before. Kind of looks like an egg. It does, which I don't like. Ugh, it hatched a machine. Yeah. 
But yeah, so we're gonna have this. As soon as this gets wrapped up and I'm back from England, I'll start on Jedi Survivor. We're gonna have Dead Island 2 popping off on the streams. And then as Jedi Survivor goes, well actually I think I think Tears of the Kingdom is probably gonna be a stream thing. Just because with, with the open world nature of that game, I think it'll do much better as a stream than it would as a, a video series. Like, this is open world, but, like, it's open world with, like, a very clear purpose. Whereas, Tears of the Kingdom, if it's anything like the previous uh, Breath of the Wild, man, that game, they just straight plop you. They're like, here you go, have fun, figure it out. <laughs> like, like, less, le I don't know, I felt constantly lost playing, uh, playing Breath of the Wild. I think Tears of the Kingdom is going to be likely the same, so that might be a, uh, a stream thing over episodic, but who knows? I mean, that's, that's, that's a month from now, and I have other games i got to knock out first. Oh, yuck. Those eggs are everywhere. Yep, I've got a feeling we're about to find out what laid them. Let's move in. Carefully. Whoa! Big ugly machine alert! It's a bellow back. We'll oh no, no it's not. It's out. a bile gut. See what you got then. Weak versus fire and You're ice. On. Tank Make target. Bile gut. Large and hazardous acquisition machine launches acid to uncover old world scrap and produces swarms of sting spawn to collect resources. Okay. Metal bite sack. So it's like a frog that lays eggs that have spiders or something uh, so I can hit that explosive egg launcher is detachable resource containers on the back Big froggy boy. Stop that from here. Machine turning. We've almost got it. And then, do I have frost? I don't. I don't even have frost. Uh. off me bro oh that was dead the fire cooked it Whew. <laughs> it goes hey let's go yeah. Good fight. weave oh, elite deployment oh it's like a legendary uh upgrade let's see can i do that i don't know if i can do that here and it weaves no i can okay Increase drop shield capacity, smoke bomb capacity, and trap limit by one level. That's actually really good, except I don't use any of those things. I'll have to warn our patrols later. I doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. Through here. We just gotta get across. Think you can make it? Watch me. This is as far as I got. I couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. There we go. You made that look easy. 
About your fugitive, I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Londra. He's a Zenith, but it's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. Tides take me. You're serious. Sorts of goodies. Oh. Well, uh, there you go, Sega. Thanks. Just two more. Halfway to a new weapon. Vent open. Sure, I'm just tapping X while at range. She flies, she fights machines, and she has fancy moves. Should come along earlier. Might have gotten more done by now. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. Oh I shit! Up an outcast, actually. Oh. 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 Oh crap. Uh, oh, we're good. Sorry. I'm better off without them. And from what I saw back at the settlement, maybe you would be too. I am one of the chosen people, not some weak kneed sailor who abandoned ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. Aloy, shall we continue? Yeah, we're we're going the right way, right? Or did I get? Oh no, I think I got turned around. No, where are we? Where are we going? We came up here. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. I think she's going the wrong way. at the top then we can find a way to shut the tower down sounds like the tower found another target tower downed another machine can't wait to shut it down This looks like Zenith tech. This definitely looks like something Nandra would have built. Whoa. Okay. But how do we stop it when part of it's way up there? 
Let's take a look around. Can we follow the power Find cord, something? of course. Maybe. Never seen anything like this, but there's got to be a way to stop it. I can't climb up that. Some kind of access node? I might be able to override it. I just gotta get all the way up there. Oh, there we go. It's coming down. Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. Recording from Londra. Let it be a reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I want to be you. Uh, that doesn't look good. Getting ready to fire it up. Get the cover. How are we supposed to stop this thing? Let me scan it. All drugs fire. There's a weak spot. How do I get the weak spot though? It's got a power core on the back. I gotta get up there to destroy it. Just hurry. I need to get higher up. Ow. Bet you can't get me. I hear you, but like, how do we? I gotta keep looking. I need a way up. Take this! I got your attention. Okay, what's back here? There, out and up. Three different cores in total. No loot. I'm not gonna pull components out of this? Nothing, really?
It turned out okay. And now your machine can get us to Starlight Rise, right? Yeah. I saw it fly off when I crashed. I should be able to call it back. One step closer to finding my sister and the living ancestor you're after. But I should probably report to the Admiral first, give him some assurance that we've made progress. Okay. I'll meet you back at the settlement then. You know, I'm kind of glad you tagged along. She's like looking at it like, can I loot anything out of that? Maybe I can. Is not like a okay, skills, 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 skills. Um, let me think, what did I want out of the other trees? I mean, the trap mines does sound really cool. I don't really play with traps, but this is like, I throw one, I throw three, I throw 12. Like, it's like, oh. Smoke bomb heal, I could see that being very useful in boss fights. I got seven points, so let's pick up that. Rope caster is busted in certain scenarios. That might be worth it. We'll get that as well. I need a connected skill to unlock it. A skilled scavenger and then quick trapper. Eh, maybe not. Let's go over here. Let's see what we got over here. Oh yeah, elemental spear. Hatching elemental capsules from your hunter's kit. I don't know how to do that, but it sounds cool. Knock down longer. That'll be useful. Poster, your resolve, gain more damage with your spear and warrior bows. Not interested in that, but elemental camp spear sounds dope. And then there's traps. What do we have over here? That's useful. That's just a flat up passive upgrade. Hmm. Maybe it's worth getting that. I mean, I'm going to get all the stuff eventually. That's for sure. And with the tower down, I can oh, yeah, that's the area before meeting up with them. I'm going to start some resources while I'm at it. So I have capsules now. I can't remember, isn't there a way to change that? Is it under resources? I remember there was a way to change what's on your your d-pad there we go okay um so i'm not really using traps at all so capsules different elemental spear applications food 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 let me change this to the other food that i got earlier where's it at Heard of the ancestors. So food, 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 healing smoke bomb. These are going to be really useful. Let me craft these up. And then overdraw potions, healing potions, and then I have some other potion that's crafted right now. Stamina potion. Excellent. All right, we're good. And I went right by the place. That's okay. Kind of expected that while I'm uh, lying around. Uh, but since the... Well, well, the quest is done. Do I... Part of me is like I should explore the whole region and see what we have in store. And the other part feels like I should just discover it as I play. But it doesn't look like I need to, I don't need to like hit the, climb the things this time around. So yeah, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll just let the exploration happen naturally instead of like forcing it. Uh, but either way, we're going to wrap up here. Next episode, we are heading back to town and we'll see what happens next. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all then.